In this video we're going to take the old fluffy part of the cattail flower and turn it into a natural material that is really useful for getting fires started, especially flint and steel fires and friction fires. To begin you just take the fluffy part of the cattail that's been sitting outside for a year on the stock and start stuffing it into a can. Um, it took about four cattail flowers to fill up this standard soup can. When it cooks, that cattail fluff shrinks, so really pack the can tight. And then you place the can inside another slightly larger can. This can also has a hole in the top to let some of the smoke out as it cooks. The next step is pretty simple. You just place your can on some coals in a fire, uh, maybe stack some wood around it, and let it cook. I let this cook for about 20 minutes before it was ready. And uh, you'll see smoke escaping from that hole. That's just normal part of the process. And that's it. Uh, when the can cools, you can open it up and you'll find this really fine powder of charcoal. This stuff loves to catch sparks and start fires. It's a really useful material to have on hand. Uh, to show you how well it works, I'm going to start with a flint and steel. This is an agate I found at the creek and uh, just an old file, high carbon steel. You can use jasper, chertz, and flints. This charcoal powder is so flammable, sometimes it'll catch a spark on the first time. But sometimes you have to hit it a couple times just to get the spark at the right spot. Once you catch a spark, just blow uh, on the charcoal and it will start igniting. Uh, then you can place your charcoal in a tinder bundle, have more charcoal in there, and just lightly blow on it. And within a few seconds, you'll start to see smoke and your tinder will catch on fire. It's so easy and this stuff is really useful to have in your survival kit. Another uh, use you can use for primitive fire is to have it there at the base of your fire drill. As you create heat with the spindle on the fireboard, having a little extra charcoal will catch that ember and really get things going. You can then transfer that into your tinder bundle and that charcoal in there will help speed the process up and get your tinder bundle uh, to ignite. So having just a little bit of cattail charcoal when you're making friction fires really helps you be more successful too. Thanks for watching. If you like this, check out some of my other videos on ways you can use cattail plants to improve your survival and bushcraft skills, including different ways to eat the cattail plant and how to get a friction fire going using a cattail spindle.